Raceway for Twin County Sports 4 as we're getting set for a modified feature event as we have our light problem now taken care of in turn one and two. Jerry Freed stuck his finger in the fuse. Is that where you went, Gary, to watch that? Jerry stuck his finger in the fuse. Oh, yeah? we're, we're running. Well, oh, Kenny Golden says next time we get the green flag here in our field. Boy, when is the last time on a night show that we started a feature here that was still light out? I can't remember, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> that's, uh, that's news in itself. Got to be a long, long time. Our cameramen tonight have been Daryl Berta and John Roder. Our director has been Rick Gehu. Uh -huh. I'm mentioning I'm mentioning them in order of importance. Okay. Roder. Yes. And we got we can't forget uh, Mrs. Roder, who does uh, beautiful graphics. Oh, Deborah. excellent. Right. Well, I forgot somebody else. Who? Jim Frick Audio, who is the right. easiest to forget uh -huh. of anybody and, here. And uh, instant replay was. Gary, Dale Eberhard, right? Darryl Darryl Eberhard, Eberhard, the that's pencil it. And of course, in master control. Ah, let's forget him. Okay, pace car pulled off yep. anyway. Yep, just in time. Pete Matson on the pole. Pete winner tonight. Alongside Butch Tito. Kenny Golden looking over his field. Here he come now, charging towards them. Down, greens are waving. Okay, 30 laps of modified action. Will we get a new winner tonight? We will see. Frank Cozy won last week. Pete Matson, the car 82, a heat winner, out in front. Butch Tittle in the Z is second. The veteran Charlie Gilmore out of Kutztown, Pennsylvania is third. Randy Smith, the promising sophomore sensation, is fourth in car 55. They complete lap one with the leader, car 82, Pete Matson. And Matson continues it now as he goes by the start finish line, heading to turn number one. As action through the pack, Chuck McKee now on a move in car number 19. Oh, slowing now at a turn two. Butch Tittle in trouble in the Z. Getting together in a second turn. Side by side a little, still moving. As your leader, Pete Matson taking advantage of this, trying to put some distance over the rest of the field as he comes down the front here. As Gilmore now powers the second. Five's about over second. Butch Tittle pulled out. Gilmore second, Smith third. Now Rick Jurek at caught up at tennis fourth. He's one of those boys who's due to win here. And they go three abreast down the back stretch. Oh, McKee comes up the middle on that one, Gary. Chuck yeah. McKee, a nice move. He gave Tom Hager the better measure there, which doesn't happen too often. McKee looking strong now, working his way to the front, but Jurek now moving in car 10. Carl Cullis now starting to break away and come up through the field. Boy, Pete Batson's built up a big lead, and boy, is he praying for no caution flag. Collis now running 10th in car 12. Cozy hanging on to 12th. There's your leader. Look at the distance. First and second. Matson and the number two man. There's your leader, Pete Matson, number two man, Randy Smith. Richie Yurick in car 10. You see the battle there for third place. And Yurick has taken over third in car 10. Down the back now. Yurick trying to reel in number two man, Randy Smith. Gilmore hangs on to fourth. Hager in fifth. And it's Riddle. Collis now picking off another car and starting to move in car 12. There's Hager getting by Gilmore as he picks up another position. Hager now fourth. Fifth is Gilmore. Running sixth is Butch Riddle. Seventh is Carl Collis. Cozy with problems. He just lost a couple of spots, dropping back a little. Got Hyder in turn two. Here's Mr. Pete Matson. Setting the pace in car 82. Look at this battle here on the screen. That's first, third through seventh. Battle for second shaping up. Matson is leading by almost a straightaway, and Yurik better hurry up and pass Smith, because Hager is closing in quickly. Smith giving Yurik a tough time there, but that runner-up spot. And as you mentioned, Pete Matson would love to see this feature go all the way, non-stop, but it won't it's yellow. Good. Just as you said it, up and we break. got a car on the wall on turn three. Up there against the up between the two turns, we That's, see him. Is that Carberry? And he's moving again. There's a shot of the car. It does look like Kenny Carberry, I believe. Car 23. Yeah. But he's underway. He's heading to the pit area. Here's Ken pulling down the uh, pit road. Tough break for Pete. Now he had a nice lead over the rest of the field. There are how many laps down? Six down, yeah, I figured that. Six down. <laughs> Real battles back there for that runner-up spot in uh, for uh, fifth, sixth, and seventh there. As we mentioned, Carl Cullis coming up in seventh position. 
Steve Matz has been a very good rabbit tonight. He won his heat that way, but now he's going to get some heat. He's going to have Yurik and Hager right behind him. Carl Collins running seventh. Carl has not looked himself tonight yet. He's, uh, you know, he's not picking cars off one by one like he's had. Uh, he didn't do that last week either. He got the fourth and couldn't right. get any further. Yep, right now at the 12, he won the heat tonight. Car six looking good. But we mentioned Cozy there having problems. Car 44. Course, we won't count Coz, uh, Carlos out of this yet. He's right. seventh, but uh, still not, a lot of laps to go. Not running like he has been. So don't count out Carl Cullos, we mentioned. Also, we get Chris Epright coming up now. Running in 12th spot. 13th is Frank Cozy. Cozy was as high as 10th, but he lost ground here in a mishap coming out of turn number two in car 44. As the signal, we're going to be going shortly. Here's Chuck McKee coming back, car 19. He was running strong until heading to the pit area, but he's back in action again. We'll see what Mr. Pete Madsen can do up front here. He's the white number 82, bringing him down. Here he comes. That's no start. no start. Kenny Golden didn't like what he saw. Well, that gives that gives people some very nervous moments. <laughs> right. So they all uh, try it again. No, 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 no. Get. So the field will regroup again on the back. Pete Matson and Randy Smith up front. Rich York and Tom Hager. Gilmore and Riddle. Collis and Malzahn. Jake Collis. Reynolds, Yurick. Excuse me, no, Richie Smith, rather. Then Epright. Rach. Cozy. Rach. Here they'll try it again. Here's Pete now firing him up, bringing him off, heading him down. Well, the race is one fifth over. Oh, Matson goes very low. I think he's going to lose his lead here. He came in very low. No, he hangs on. Matson showed some power there at yeah. the end of the straightaway. He came me. off nice on that one. Yeah. Hanger, though, he got up the third, got around Yurik. Here they're moving. Out of turn four. Matson has his hands full. Randy Smith, Hager makes a bid for second on the inside. Oh, Hager slides it into second. Up high, Randy trying to take it back. Big Tom hangs on the outside and keeps it. Carl Collis is still seventh. He's not going very far. Cozy up to 12th on car 44, picked up a couple spots. Right back in 13th, but Hager closing on your leader, Pete Matson, as he worked down the back. Here we go, we got a scramble on it. Gilmore stopped for a second. Everybody slowed and nobody <laughs> nobody changed positions. Right, uh, Cozy goes three wide in that corner, though. That is bunched up, that was it. But here's your battle for the lead. Pete Matson, Tom Hager. on Matson. Yorick back to third. He's trying to close in and make it a three-car battle. Oh, turn one and two up near the wall. Still moving. Chuck McKee. Oh, there's a lot of... There's so much to watch here. We get uh, action all over. Get it really bunched in. The battle the for six is Car really stops in turn two. Looks like Chuck McKee, I yeah. believe, in a 19. That battle for six is tremendous. What a battle. Here's a shot of McKee's car. Bring it out the yellow. Down. That battle for six, I mean, we did have the camera on that. All the top names in that one. Chris Barger pulls into the pits under this yellow. Parts McKee now pulled off, Gary. Not serious accident, but enough to knock him out of the race. Now, this yep. restart should be a pip. I this mean, should be a, one of the biggest tests. How many more laps to go in this? Now, we well, leave nine down or? 21 to go. There's a current five. How's it running? Pete Matson, if he can get through this turn and still be leading, he's done a good job because he's got some real lions alongside that last restart. He almost blew it. He came too low. Oh, uh, there. See what he does this time. Well, Hager's got Hager alongside him. He's got Yurik right behind him. I mean, this is this <laughs> is not an easy assignment here. See what Pete can do now. He's going to have to. Oh, he's going to have to floor it now. And let's see. He's getting on it, bringing he's him down. Nice, on. nice job. All Very right. nice job All by Pete right. Matson. And he's leading here out of turn. Oh, Hager oh, running the tail he, there. He really bumper. brought it down there. Hager took advantage of that one. We got Carl Reynolds sitting over there on that inside wall. Car car stopping too. Carberry again. Okay, we have uh, the cars of Reynolds and Carberry now removing the raceway. Reynolds is being pulled off the back. 
as we're getting set here to we continue with our modified feature event next time with the green flag and pete matz is still the leader tom hager alongside we'll see what he does this time you know matz got off to a good restart but he really right. slowed down that second turn and i think he was the trigger of that incident over there because he really slowed it down he probably went to the first turn harder than he's ever gone right. in his life and he had to hit the brakes hard and they all bogged down there so uh that's where hager started to tuck underneath him there getting ready to take that lead too coming well, off that second turn well collis is still seven Oh, yes. And uh, Cozy now running in ninth. Yeah, he made a move on the outside that we didn't see. He must have passed uh -huh. about five cars on the outside of turn four about a lap ago. And that right up to 11. Okay, let's see what Pete does this time up front. Hager alongside. Oh, he's very slow restart again. Here they come. Oh, they're going green. And... Uh, jumps into third. So Butch Riddle jumps into third, drops Urich back. Matz is leading, but here comes Hager. He's trying to hold him off down the back. Hager ducks underneath and turn three, side by side. Boy, Matz shuts the door. He still thinks he's in his mini stock, I guess. Here's the action on the front. Look Boy, at this. It's dead even. Oh, Matz up high. Whoa, trying to fight it, hanging on, losing the spot. Ah, Pete tucks it in third. Matson doing a good job there. Yeah, he's uh, running harder than he's used to. Kyle Collis is now taking over fifth. Boy, you're, uh, you're right now second. Cozy up to seventh. As Hager is the leader, looking for his second win of the year. Well, Kyle Collis is starting to show some strength for the first time tonight. He's up at fourth, but that's familiar number 12. Picking them off a little bit each lap around. And Cozy just picks off another one. As Big Tom here leads the way out of turn four, coming down the front. As Rich Urich hangs on to second. Here's Collis working on Matson the third. Collis on the inside of Pete Matson. And he takes it. Pete Matson hasn't got that first turn figured out yet. Gets up a little too high there. Slides up high when he comes in that turn. Okay, Collis now moving in on your number two man, Rich Uriger. They work off the fourth and race it down to the front. Here comes the chase for fifth now. Frank Cozy. Cozy is really moving. Remember, he got he got pushed all the way to the back before. Cozy is flying. He's not running fifth, but boy, he's got a ways to go now because everybody is just strung out. So he'll have to close in a little more here. See if you can gain on Pete Matson. Let's watch this battle for second. This is going to brew very, very soon. Yurik in the 10 and the 12 of Collis. Collis is closing in. On a turn one and two, it's tightening up. Here's Collis down the back. There's your distance between second and third. Halfway coming up. As Collis now closing a little more here coming out of turn four. As the drivers get the halfway sign, your leader Tom Hager yet, but here's the race for second and third. Cozy is fifth, sixth is Riddle, seventh is Randy Smith, eighth is Richie Smith, ninth is Jake Collis, and tenth is Fritz Epright. As a Twin County customer, you have the world at your fingertips. You already know that over 20 crystal clear channels are available to you as part of our basic service. But what you may not know is that for a small additional monthly charge, you can select from five premium services. Home Box Office, Prism, the Disney Channel, the Movie Channel, and the Adult Gaiety Channel. There's truly something for everyone. For additional information, call one of our customer service representatives at 262-6741. Battle for second place here, and dead even, Yurik holds them off. What and a race. to the first turn, that tremendous acceleration in Collis' car. Beautiful That's racing. racing. Boy, Yurik isn't giving up, though. He's staying right with him. Cozy is now taking over fourth. So two moves the same lap, as you mentioned. Collis gets by Yurik, and Cozy got by Pete Matson. There's a distance, first and second on the screen. Tom Hager, number two man, Carl Collis. Hager works it into the first turn. That's your leader right there. Looking for his second feature win of the season. Big Tom Hager out of Eastern Pennsylvania. Collis trying to cut that distance on the leader. 
going to put the clock on Collis, though. We'll see what kind of laps he can turn in this situation because he's chasing the guy. All right. Cozy back there in four, trying to move in on Ewart. Masson hangs on to fifth. Then it's Riddle, Richie Smith, Randy Smith, Jay Collins, Chris Epright, I'm all gone. There's a battle on the screen between Randy Smith and Jay Collins further back in the field. As Collins still trying to close it on the leader. All right, Collins is running at 23.5. We'll put the clock on Hager now. Okay. That's the battle for eighth you just saw between uh, Randy Smith, Jay Collins, Fritz Epright, and Bob Malzahn. There's a distance between first and second as it comes down the front. I still think the fastest man of the racetrack is probably Frank Cozy. But Boy, Collins is closing in on Hager. Moving in now. Closing it up down the back as they move into turn three. Collis is running a second faster than Hager's running. So he still has time to make it up. Still has sure time does. to close in. Running a second faster means he could probably pass them. Now look how close they are. Heading in that first turn. That's the battle. First and second. Hager and Collis. And it's tightening up closer. And they have a slower car ahead there in turn three. Boy, this is shaping up for a beautiful finish, though. Collis closing in on Hager. Hager's big and tough. He will not let him by. Hager will give him a good fight all the way to the end. Collis is the fastest man in the racetrack, though. He's running faster than Frank Cozy. Hey, Collis out pouring it on a little more. You saw him inch a little closer on that shot. And here's a lap car just ahead of him. The 88 of Bob Hope. Frankly, bumper to bumper here in this move. Oh, hang up ahead of the lap car. Oh, oh Hager hey. the lap car. And Cullis slips right by. What Hager. a move. I can't believe Hager made that move, but that lap car right, right in the middle of the groove. Cullis took good advantage of that one. He saw the lap car ahead and had his chance, and he took advantage of it, and he's the leader now. Well, we kind of hated to see it happen that way. Hager in second. We were hoping for a race to those two. That lap car got right in the way, and Hager ran right into him. Five to go. Tough break on Hager. Battle is going to be for third now amongst uh, Urich and Cozy. Yes, it will. That's going to be a close one. And the lap car's ahead of them on this one, Gary. Yep. Two of them, in fact, to come off the fourth here. There's the battle. It's that same lap car, too. Oh, this time he's still, oh, almost up in the groove. Almost oh. got Cozy. They're going to have a talk with him after the race, I'm sure. Here's Cozy having problems with him now in the back. Oh, he finally gets by him. Cozy now to make up ground to close it on Rich Yorick. Coming up by two to go for Carl Collis, looking for his fifth win of the season. Kind of a shame that lap car kind of got in the way. We missed the you know, chance of the real pass for the lead. A tough break. It would have been a nice battle all the way to that checkered flag. Yeah, it would have been right to the finish, but it uh, wasn't meant to be. There's two to go now for your leader, Carl Collis. You Collins. can see how much faster Collis is than Hager. There's no doubt in my mind Collis would have passed him. Right. You know, pulling ahead there, making some more distance. Well, he really is. But Cozy now, he's starting to come back now after being uh, slowed up by that lap car. Trying to move it on Urich, but time is running out. As we've seen the uh, white flag here for Carl Cullis as he comes up on a couple of slower cars in turn one. Up on Jim Bowen and Frankie Schneider. But watch Cozy here. He's coming in behind Urich in turn one now. That battle for third. Here's a shot for the race for third, Urich and Cozy. They're going to run this to the finish. Well, for the fifth time this season, that young man from Northampton, Pennsylvania, 26 years old, Carl Collins, is going to do it again. There he is. And again, very checkered. convincingly. Anger for second. There's the race for third and fourth. York and Cozy are going at it to the end. Boy, they were way ahead of uh, the fifth or sixth place cars. But old Carl Collins comes through. Our point leader here in the modified division makes it number five. All right, here's the finish. In for his fifth win of the season. Out of Northampton, Pennsylvania, he's right down the street from our TV4 studios. It's Carl Collison for his fifth win. 
Now here's what happened there. You saw the lap car. Hager ran right in the back of him. He, ran, he went right out on Hager. That was the move that cost him. We'll show one more time here, Gary. Now keep an eye on the 88. Just ahead of Hager going into turn one. Yep. This lap car really violated all the racing rules there is by riding right in the groove with the two leaders come. Here it is again. Watch Hager run right to the back of this car Hager's now. holding off Carlos. Watch the lap car now right in the groove and Hager hits right into the back of him. Puts he him goes out. wide and Carlos makes the pass. That's the brakes of racing. Yep. Hager finishes second. Third was Rich Urich in the 10. That must be his best finish of the year. Fourth was Frank Cozy in the 44. Fifth was Richie Smith in the double zero. Sixth was the early leader, Pete Matson in the 82. Seventh was the eight of Butch Riddle. Finishing eighth was the 112 of Jay Collis. Then came the sixth of Fritz Epright. And finishing tenth was the 55 of Randy Smith. So for Lou Brunel, our director, Ricky, who all the crew here at uh, Twin County Sports for all the folks here at the Nazareth Raceway, Mr. Jerry Free. This is Gary London saying good night and thank you again for watching. This is Ben.